Dan the man here and today we're gonna actually clean the HP Omen 17 together. So the HP Omen 17 is a pretty nice and powerful machine and it's got dusty, it's got pretty good cooling in there, it doesn't get that hot. So there are about 8 screws, they're all the same size, 4 in the front here and 4 in the back there. So it's got 8 screws in total, once you basically remove the screws using a flip screw driver. so. Uh, you start working your way around it with the bank card opening from the back and then the sides it comes out I did that in another video it uh, it takes uh, just less than a minute to do that So once you open this thing you see it's pretty dusty I have not cleaned this for quite a while and it's a pretty new machine And where I live is pretty dusty as you can see the dust is just coming out you could perhaps use a toothbrush to do this as you can see the nasty dust is just coming out of this machine so if you want it to be a bit cleaner to not make a mess in your house or your room you could do this outside in your balcony or after you're done cleaning the fans with a toothbrush you could perhaps use a vacuum cleaner to suck all this dust so that that way you would not be making your room or where you're staying pretty dirty so try to get rid of the dust as much as you can from all over the place you could use you could even wash this thing I don't recommend you washing it but you can just use a wet wipe to clean it. So let's get a wet wipe and I'll be back in a second. I mean a wet wipe would be a good option for cleaning the back of it because you know it there are no electronics back here so it'll be pretty safe of doing so. You see all this dust? It's been just a few months uh, that all this dust pretty nasty when you look at it it's kind of hard to do it on camera it would take a while but you got the idea of how to clean inside your omen computer pretty basic pretty easy you can clean both sides so yeah inside it I do not recommend you to use this wet wipes make sure the battery is disconnected but you could just Clean perhaps over the heat sink area. Try to not short anything on the motherboard, okay? Let it not touch the motherboard. Just clean over the area that is not a part of the main board. The heat sink is safe place to clean. So, after I've removed a lot of the dust, I'm gonna still use my brush to get out as much dust as possible you could even blow inside there the fans to get the dust off it I did it off camera but anyways it's not that necessary for it to be done on camera because you just basically blow inside these fans to get out most of the dust that's stuck in there You can blow from both sides, from the exhaust towards inward and then outward. The fans are pretty clean already. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the result. doesn't have to be super duper clean. If you want it to be super duper clean, perhaps you have, you have to remove the entire heatsink and the fans and truly clean it. You can use also compressed air, you know, to do such things, which is not very difficult. I mean, that's pretty much it. To be honest with you guys, I mean, uh, it's not clean that well, but I mean, it's on camera. It's going to be a long video if I'm going to be doing that. Just you got the idea, keep cleaning with a toothbrush or any other brushes you have. Have the battery disconnected, and then that's it, you know. Anyway, see you guys in another video, okay? Bye-bye.